And so, with her sea trials successfully completed and her crew fully trained, the submarine leaves for the final preparation, the practice firing of the Polaris missile. Everyone agrees that nuclear warfare is horrible and must be prevented. This is the purpose of the nuclear deterrent. A potential aggressor must be convinced that it will not be worth his while to attack. In the depths of the ocean, each Polaris submarine is virtually undetectable and packs a devastating punch. A would-be aggressor knows that Polaris missiles can penetrate his defenses and cause unacceptable damage. He will therefore not dare to attack and peace will be preserved. This country is the only European member of NATO which has conventionally armed nuclear-powered submarines. They're today's capital ships, and we now have nine in service in the Royal Navy, a considerable contribution to the NATO maritime forces in the Eastern Atlantic. Cycle main vents. Cycle main vents. They're capable of continuous patrols at high underwater speed, and can circumnavigate the globe without surfacing. These submarines are difficult to detect. It can operate for long periods in waters dominated by a potential aggressor. You can therefore never be certain that one is not around. An important factor in the strategy of deterrence. Action stations, set condition 1SQ. PSO navigator. Navigation fire control transmission check satisfactory. Master sims reset. Navigation ready. Captain Sir PSO, weapon system in 1SQ. Supervisor, initiate fire. Missile denoted. Missile assigned. Prepare. Launcher prepared. Missile prepared. Fire. shedding its first stages, climbing on, roaring into space to seek its distant target electronically. In each, stocks and launching gear for the last word in deterrence, Polaris. And so, training completed, a Polaris submarine goes into active service 
carrying the deterrent that is our hope of security. A promise to deter any potential aggressor from surprise nuclear attack against this country or any of our NATO allies. It is our guard against nuclear war.